For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation 7 factorial times 6 factorial equals n factorial, the question is how to solve for the value of n. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video, now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this equation 7 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial equals n factorial, our goal is to solve for the value of this variable n. Now, to answer this question, let's get the equation. And then, the first question is, what do we mean by factorial or 6 factorial or n factorial? Now, the definition of a factorial of a number Factorial is defined as a function that multiplies a given natural number with every natural number less than or equal to n till 1. So we have n factorial equals n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 multiplied by so on and so forth until we have 3 times 2 times 1. Now for example, we have here 4 factorial. It must be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is 24. Also, we have here 6 factorial, which is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or simply equal to 720. Now, we will use this concept to answer this question. Alright. Now, 7 factorial. If we think of this 7 factorial, this is just 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Of course, using the definition of factorial. Now, let's get this 6 factorial. And what we're going to do is to replace the 6 factorial into some factors. So 6 factorial is equivalent to just 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Again, let's replace the 6 factorial with some factors. Now since we have here 7, so why not? Let's have an 8. And to have an 8, we need 4 and 2. Because if we multiply 4 and 2, we get Next, after 8, we need 9, but we don't have 3 times 3. But take note, this 6, we can factor this as 2 times 3. Now, we can now focus on this 3 and 3. Because if we multiply this 3 to this 3, we have a 9. Now, if we multiply 2 times 5 times 1, this is just 10. So now we have here on the left hand side, we have 7 factorial times 8 times 9 times 10. Or simply, we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or simply, the left hand side of our equation is just 10 factorial. So we have here 10 factorial equals n factorial. Don't forget that our goal is to find the value of n. Since both sides are equal, we can definitely eliminate this factorial symbol and this will give us the value of n equals 10. Therefore, the value of n that satisfies this equation 7 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial equals n factorial, then this n must be equal to 10. And as always, we are done.